I'm Kathleen Callahan. I'm one of the co-presidents of the, uh, Contemporary Fiber Artists of Louisiana, which we usually shorten to CFAL. It's a uh, group of fiber artists who came together just out of a common interest, uh, probably around 2000. I'm not familiar with the exact date it was started, but I do know Michael Young, who no longer lives in the Baton Rouge area, was one of the founding members, and he's the one who uh, probably got more and more people like me to join because he would go to various art venues and invite people to, hey, if you like this piece, are you aware of this group? And that's how I found out about it and joined years ago. Most people, when they think of fiber art, think of something more traditional in the way of quilting, uh, bed quilts, things that, you know, patchwork, the traditional type of quilting that most people associate with fiber art. But there's also, um, you know, knitting. A lot of people think of that. Knitting is also a fiber art, but I consider that more of an art if people create their own patterns rather than following a traditional pattern. Um, crocheting, felting, we have a felted piece in this show. Um, even uh, we have a piece in this show, uh, a photograph that is uh, taken by one of our members that's printed on canvas. Canvas is a fiber. Paper is a fiber. You know, there have been people who've created origami or uh, cut paper in various ways or sculpted it or even just made books. That's all fiber art. I was walking around Houston and thinking about this, the theme of this show and thinking, well, in celebration of women, you know, how would we celebrate? And then I started thinking, well, what, what is there to celebrate? And suddenly it dawned on me that the symbols of liberty and justice are women. Why is that? And that seemed to be kind of a contradiction to me. So that was the jumping off point for the first piece I created for this show, which is a, a traditional wall quilt, but as, you know, as viewers will see, it's not at all traditional in the way it, the, the uh, thought process is portrayed. It's called a whole cloth quilt. It's all one piece, there's no pieces involved. In other words, this is every bit a part of this piece as this is. There's no, the only thing that divides these are the colors and the stitching. Uh, I initially started with the Statue of Liberty, which I hand drew. I've always been able to draw reasonably well. So I found a picture online that I liked from this angle, drew it on a piece of tracing paper, and then realized, well, I need a background. And obviously a flag seemed to be appropriate, but the more I thought about it, the more I thought, well, I can't just let it be, you know, the Statue of Liberty against a flag. I have to say a little bit more about, you know, the intent of this process. So I started with the blue area, which a lot of people associate with one side of the political spectrum. And I decided to put the first section of the ERA in this corner in the blue area instead of stars. In the red stripes, which again is symbolic of another end of the political spectrum, are some quotes made by men in power, which I personally found to be repugnant. I could have added a lot more, obviously, but I just chose some that I thought would highlight generally the thought process that led to this whole concept. This is what's called an accordion book. And that's pretty obvious as to why it's called that, because it you know, operates in and out like this. It can go in a, a round area like this. It can bend in very different ways. And, and fold it up, it's compact just like a book, which can you know, I tie together. Uh, it's made of a variety of materials, but a lot of them are similar to the materials that I used in the art quilt on the, in the, on the wall in there, with uh, top stitching and uh, Ink tense pencils, these little line drawings down here are ink tense pencils. So it's, um, it's a good theme, and I wanted to find a variety of uh, women who smashed barriers, American women, that was important to me, in various ways. And uh, some of them have been around a long time, others are more recent. So all of these meant something to me personally. There's a swimmer, there's a jockey, there's Billie Jean King, tennis player. Uh, here's Tony Stone, who is one of the first women professional baseball players, professional basketball player, Ann Myers Drysdale. And um, so anyway, this meets all of my interests in one uh, three-dimensional piece. And that was another thing, showing that fiber art doesn't have to be just a wall-hanging quilt, you know, a, a rectangular piece of art on the wall. It can actually take a different form. 
Eleanor Roosevelt um, wasn't one of the original feminists, but she's one of my all-time icon feminists. She did things in an era that women just were not uh, expected to do, and she was the eyes, ears, and, and legs of her husband. She visited troops during World War II. She put herself in harm's way. She nursed soldiers. She spoke out in favor of civil rights at a time when that was really not just uh, unexpected, but really uh, regarded as, as not something that anyone should do. So she was her own person and her own voice. Um, I chose this uh, theme because during the 2016 election, I know that somebody attributed this quote to her, a woman is like a tea bag. You can't tell how strong she is until you put her in hot water. And like a lot of people, I thought that she was the one who originated that quote until I began looking into it and then found out that uh, its origin was actually traced back to an Irish proverb. And uh, this is a, a picture that I printed out. Um, I think this one is, yeah, this one. And the quotes that are here on linen, these pictures and the quotes, I used a different transfer technique, and this was transfer artist paper. I chose the tea bag. I'm old enough to remember the early uh, Lipton commercials where they talked about their flow-through tea bag. This appeals to me in a, when I'm trying to create a piece like this because it allows it to stand up, whereas a traditional tea bag would just lie on, on one side. So I just sort of put it together out of instinct. You know, this is organza. Uh, the, the filling is made out of pieces of burlap that I just peeled, you know, row by row and cut into small little uh, strips. This is a piece of paper that sort of, I mean, a piece of cardboard that sort of stabilizes it. I think all three of these fit the theme as well as my uh, overall admiration of Eleanor Roosevelt as an icon and a, just a, an inspiration for women everywhere as a, a feminist, a mother, a leader. Um, just, I, I can't say enough good things about her. She's one of the most important women in history, in my opinion.